Hello everyone, and welcome to the Complex Expedition. And I have eagerly been awaiting this ever since my playthrough of the previous game, The Complex Found Footage. Now, Backrooms games are a dime a dozen these days, and to be honest, I'm really tired of them, even without really delving into them too much. I mean, every time I play one of these games, I talk about how I'm not really familiar with the lore, how they don't really interest me that much. But this game's predecessor was a major exception. Because it understood that the horror in the back rooms lies in its simplicity. The idea that you could be going about your business no matter who you are or where you are, and make just such the wrong move as to glitch yourself out of reality, so to speak. Almost like clipping out of bounds in a video game, only the consequences are much more dire. Being in a place that seems familiar and yet so unnervingly empty, seemingly made out of pieces of your reality and yet so alien in its presentation. And over time, what happens is this feeling of dread slowly creeps in as you realize that even though you're in what seems like office space, you're actually in a survival situation, and that disconnect almost doesn't compute with your brain. Could actually be a place where you end up starving to death of dying of dehydration. And it just understood that you didn't need to fill that space with monsters or all these rules or anything to make that very simple fear manifest. Now in this one, from what I understand, it is actually an expedition. Much like, uh, what was that other one I played with Killian? Uh, uh, Escape the Back Rooms. We're actually going in as a group attempting to document this and learn about it. But something tells me that a fancy suit and equipment, well, it doesn't change what this is to us. Let's play. June 24th, 1988. Documented by Newman J. Miller. Two, one, two. Mic check. This is Newman. Oh, this is David. Mic check. One, two, one. This is being documented by Newman Joseph Miller on June 24th, 1988. There's gaps in the footage. Oh, I'm actually playing! Alright, so here we are, and as you can see, much like the predecessor, this is taking place from the point of view of, like, a VHSC camera, or VHS. And what's so impressive about it is that it's doing something a handful of games are doing now, including that one body cam one, where it sort of downgrades its graphics to achieve a more realistic look. Do they have any idea what's beyond the gap? Or am I just going in blind? No, I don't think so. I mean, they haven't gone through yet, so I think you're the first one. Uh, look, the way, the way these baggy suits actually kind of crumple and move as they walk... The way the light actually, like, flares in the lens of the camera. And there's all these subtle details I noted in the last one that make it work that way. I mean, look, there's the reflections on the tape. Also, don't go too far past the cross stage there. You don't want you to get lost accidentally. Okay. I might need to put my volume up a little bit. Okay, hang on. Let's see if I can put my... So just describe your surroundings whenever you see something new or different. Wow, you... you... so... Hitting escape doesn't pause the game. I was going to see if I could put my volume up some more. Yeah, I know. 
Uh, but this video, I'll talk more about that in a bit. That's not the only thing that's looking realistic. This voice acting is actually very, very good. Because it just sounds like the way two people would actually talk to each other when trying to go about very analytical business. Oh, and look at the way it almost seems like the camera's white balance adjusts when we walk into the area with slightly different lighting. I can... Oh, there's already others here. Hey, what? Oh, you have a gas mask. I thought you had like a skull face. I was worried the Bone Brigade had found me here. I don't know how, but they found me. Alright, you ready? Oh, God. Yeah, copy that. Oh, this sucks, this sucks, this sucks. This sucks. Uh, I can see why they'd gotten up to this point and no farther. Uh, but just imagining doing this with this giant bulky suit. Uh, please don't close on me and leave me alone. See anything yet? It's just a room. There's a hallway leading out. Uh, are you guys coming? No, you are not. And if I hold down control, I can actually go all the way to the floor. Oh, and pressing space activates a light on my suit. Looks awful dark down there. Are you really not going to come with me? <laughs> well, I guess I am the one with the camera, so it's my job to document. And already, this found footage style is showing its worth. When you come in here and present it this realistically, I feel the tightness in my chest, unable to catch my breath when I have to crawl through something like that. Okay. It's an unusual hallway. It's wallpapered on all sides. I'm not liking these seams that I'm noting on the walls in certain places. There's also like a indoor house light. Uh, what does that sound? Guys. 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 find ourselves alone once more. playing. Um, imagine if while our character was over there trying the radio, if the camera's perspective had seen something we didn't. But here we go. Th now that was interesting. That was something I hadn't seen before. It's almost like, well, it, it's almost like we glitched into the back rooms while in the back rooms. But we'll have to get a move on. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't see anything in the options to boost the audio, so I guess maybe I guess maybe we'll just have to do that in post. I feel like the audio mixing could use a bit of work. But right now, all I can really hear is the sound of my own breathing. Which is interesting because, I mean, my character is a scientist. They want to learn about this place and they know they have to stay calm because wasting, wasting time screaming and running is just a waste of valuable energy. And yet that human fear is still absolutely present. All right, well, 
This is the maze. This is the back rooms. Let's try and stay in the light for as much as we can. But look, that camera shake, the grain on the screen, the lines, the imperfections in the color, that bloom in the highlights, and that ever so subtle, like, curve in the visuals themselves. Like we're watching this on a CRT. It's this realism and weightiness that really helps you engage with the character. And I think imagine yourself in this situation. Look, we can see like that noise in the darks as the camera tries to adjust its exposure to compensate. The camera nerd in me is absolutely loving this. but very notably, all I can hear is the breathing and the crunching of the carpet underfoot. And nothing else. This game is having no music, no electric light sounds, no nothing. Somehow, it opening up and being brighter like this is far from reassuring. This is... See, the interesting thing is that the audio is almost... The audio situation is almost reminding me of being an astronaut adrift in space. And oddly enough, despite being in like a familiar, almost office or conference hall setting, we actually find ourselves in almost the exact same problem. An area totally divorced from anything that would exist in reality, yet here are familiar images like smoke detectors, wallpapers, fire sprinkler systems. I, I, in this situation, like, you know, to once again compare it to a survival situation in the wild, I, I almost feel drawn to wedge myself in a tight area. Like it makes me less visible to predators or something. And it's almost like nightmare logic to so abruptly go from a space like that to look like something that might be in like a little old grandma's house. Grandma? Are you home? Oh, it's like a like an illuminated kitchen, like when you go downstairs to get a snack at night. Uh, when you when you look at it like this, it almost looks like footage of like some kind of furniture showroom or something. What is that reflecting in the dark? That's not just no oh. I was going to say, that's not just noise, that's like a pattern that's holding consistent. Do you hear that? And just like that, it's gone. That sounded like Mozart. Can we interact with this door? Uh, F. So it's not only emulating human structures, but also... but also human objects. This is like some kind of even more cursed IKEA showroom. Oh, and we can actually. The lights actually work! This is your lunchroom. Help keep it clean. Okay, so that's another important discovery English text in here. See, what's interesting about this is we're coming in here not knowing what they know. Clearly, it's a known phenomenon and they're doing some kind of research, but... 
Well, actually, that raises an important implication. It sort of means that someone must have entered the back rooms and come back out at some point, right? That they have some consistent way to enter. Uh, we're not going to be able to get up there. And from how dark it looks in that crawl space, do we want to? Okay, we can feel real panic in the motion when we're running. I can actually kind of hear that echo coming from this way, so... Maybe if we get closer to the music, we get closer to progress? A music stand... It's almost like it emulated, like, a concert hall or an auditorium or something. And it didn't just vaguely imitate the structures. It actually captured sound? I mean, that's sort of similar to what happened in the other room. I mean, that's a sign that would certainly exist somewhere, but it doesn't make sense in that room. a mishmash of things that it, it can identify as pieces of a structure, but it doesn't understand what any of those things actually are. Speaking to this actually being something more that is mimetic, but exists in nature rather than, rather than acting with any kind of intention. Which, if anything, makes this even more of a dreadful situation makes it so that there's no greater purpose here, nothing that it's trying to show us. It, it just is, well, it just is us getting trapped. And there's no need for there to be any kind of exit. Oh God, it's very big in here. My light doesn't reach the other end. Okay, hug the wall. Of the wall. Nothing but the noise to keep me company, actually. <laughs> See, the thing about presenting this in a found footage way from a player perspective is that there's actually no need for the player character to ever find their way out. The only thing that's necessarily true for this presentation to make sense is for the camera to find its way out. Okay, so it goes farther in this direction. A pillar right there. I, I, I keep thinking that, like, at some point I'm going to, like, mistake noise pattern for something running out of the darkness at me. But I applaud this game for not trying to do that to me yet. Now, I actually did uh, converse several times uh, with the creator of this game over the course of a few months, and they showed me some previews of its development, and I, I really do have a lot of faith in them because it seems like they have all the right ideas when it comes to what the back room should be. See, every once in a while, there will be just that little flicker within the noise, that little bit of difference that makes me think there's something there. Screw this room, screw this room, I am out. Now where am I going? I, I feel like I'm heading back more or less in the direction that I came from. There's gotta be something different. But that's the thing, is that, like, I start to think I can recognize landmarks, and then before I know it, I just end up more and more lost. There's just these little things that are subtly different in a place that looks mostly the same. Areas of shadow in contrast to light. Areas where the lighting itself is slightly different. A slightly different color temperature. A slightly different 
tone. And yet none of it means anything. I, I think that's part of what drives you insane about this. It's knowing that you have to get out of here, and so you start looking for patterns, patterns to try and help you navigate, but you just frustrate yourself trying to see what those patterns are. How, how did this happen? And now I can't hear any music at all. And you know, I was just sitting there for a long time thinking, like, it wasn't like before, I just kept thinking I could vaguely, ever so slightly, hear music. But over the noise of the tape and of my own computer, I just can't tell. Anyway, I'm coming back this way because I remembered that I'm pretty sure there was a space where we could crawl down, was there not? Like a, a space where we could crawl under something. But then again, that door... Let's run through here. Imagine this being the final few seconds on the tape. I could have sworn there was something. Well, this is something a little different, so might as well try here. The next thing to try from a scientific perspective would be, if I plug something into these outlets, will it actually get a charge? This is looking almost like an art gallery. And you know, stuff like this sort of makes me wonder... Would the back rooms present differently if you were to enter them from a different period in time? Like, would somebody in like 1798 see something different if they were to glitch their way in here? Or is it even maybe a new phenomenon, and if so, why? I mean, uh, when you put me into the perspective of the scientist, suddenly my head is racing with questions. Even while it's racing with panic. Uh, you know, for some reason, this has hanging out in the kids' room at an uncle's, like, house for a family gathering vibes. I don't have any way to qualify that, I just, I feel like if you can relate to it, you can. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Tiled floor. Oh, it's a grocery store. Hey, yeah, uh, back rooms, while you're at it, do you want to maybe... Do you want to maybe mime some apples? Something to keep me going? Kronzal Supermarket. I wonder if we would find that this is something that actually exists in universe. Oh, but look at that. It's like a childhood nightmare, some familiar place all abandoned and empty with one light shining from a corner of the big room. Something about that just makes me feel so small, like I'm a three-year-old again. China Express. I just heard something clank from the other side of the room. Are we actually not alone in here? Or is that clank also just something that it's emulating? I mean, since we know that it can do that with sound. Oh, I love that little animation, that little motion for my character to turn it on. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. Hang on. That door doesn't have an equivalent on the opposite side. I mean, it could be that there's just drywall behind it, but... But that almost sort of implies that maybe, like, the space itself changes when I'm not looking? Like, there's actually a difference to the architecture when unobserved. Oh, you're just gonna have me climbing deeper and deeper. I saw that stair- I- 
I, I saw that other thing on the way back, but I want to see more. It's like an office just hidden away behind that crawlway. Well, it feels like what I would imagine a secret hideout to be like as a kid. Being in school or my mom's office and thinking about, like, what it would be like if I had my own little corner of it all to myself. And that's the thing. I, I feel like so much of liminal spaces comes down to feelings of childhood nostalgia or images that you might have dreamed up or... Well, even just literally dreamed. It's like the way a child's mind thinks of spaces just based on things they've seen, even without understanding how any of it works or why it is the way it is. I mean, why do you think so much 90s children's play area imagery shows up in liminal space images? So the ominous chairs weren't good enough for you. you. You had to put some ominous wheelchairs in like a Legion Hall type setting. Uh, I could actually almost see the fear in my character as he reached out and opened the door. Huh. Here the walls are like made of plywood and it's like it's all falling apart. Huh. It's like almost deliberate dysfunction. Like all of that is exactly as sturdy as everything else and yet it, it just looks so dysfunctional imitating something that's falling apart in the real world. Okay, new experiment. What would happen if you tried to take a sledgehammer and break down these walls? What would be beyond them? <gasps> Looked up and was immediately blinded by that light. Well, at least we've settled into what seems to be more of a linear progression. Then again, it sort of looks like we're right back where we started. And this is the thing. This is what would drive you crazy in this situation is... Every once in a while, the shadows make it look like something popping around a corner, but I think it was just my imagination. Like, every time you think you're onto something, it just takes it away from you and you feel like you made no progress at all. And remember, every time it happens, you're a little bit hungrier and thirstier. Your legs feel a little bit weaker. Oh wait, what am I doing? Turning off my light? I still can't see anything. Is that an elevator? I mean, elevator or no, it's the one different thing. So that's the thing is that like the frustration is even more the longer you're on a particular tangent. It's one thing to be in a maze and keep hitting dead ends, but to be seemingly out of it and onto something new, your brain just craving some kind of difference in stimulation and then to end up back where you are. I feel like throwing the camera at that point. What is this? This elevator acting completely without any input from us. And yet we're willing to accept it for a chance at something new.
Wait a minute. I, I, I recognize this area from the last game. It's a little bit different, but last time I called this the courthouse. But it's all very linear here. Same textures as before, but... You know, leading us down this long, very dark hallway with a very high ceiling. I'm terrified, but the scientist in me wants to take samples of that wood. <laughs> like, is it actually organic? Is that a newspaper? All prepare for major weather. Either this is an imitation of a newspaper, or this was left behind by someone who came here previously. Lots of side hallways to explore, but what is a washing machine? Why do I get the feeling that you're the mastermind behind all of this? Uh, there's a really horrible place we can crawl in. I just realized our light actually reflects back at us if we get too close to a metal surface. That's kind of neat. This does not connect onto where we just came from, but it does connect onto something else. Uh, see, the level design in this is so perfect that I almost don't want to progress because I sort of want to see where all these different places lead. Uh, but I know I could potentially be here even more forever if I try to see everything. Oh my, see, another thing about the back rooms is the inconsistent scale. I mean, something like this, it makes it feel like I'm walking down the hall in my old house as a three-year-old. I don't know why. I mean, this is the second time I've made that comparison. But I really do think of three as, like, a weirdly significant year for me. I think it's the first year I was, like, actually sort of self-aware. And so for some reason, I just remember a lot of that year in particular. Why do I get the feeling you've been waiting for me? I'm just gonna scooch on by you now. But one thing I've always heard about the carpets in the back rooms is that they're actually damp. Meaning that if you were to find yourself here, especially without a suit, it would actually be really irritating to try and lay down on it. A couch like this might actually be a very welcome thing. Well, unless that was wet, too. What's worse, trying to sleep on wet carpet or wet leather? In other science, is that real leather? No, no, no. No, let's try the door. Try the odd thing out. Wait, did I? Wait, 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 wait. Did I come the right way? The, ch the couch must have been through here, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, look, it, it might seem almost insanity to try and maintain a sense of direction in here. Like, maybe I'd be better off just running off into nothing constantly, but I just can't bring myself to feel that way. Like, I, I feel like I need to set myself anchors. It's, it, it's sort of the brain going crazy trying to make sense of something that has no logic to it. Okay, well, hardwood floors might be acceptable in this suit. If I were to pull the latches and slide this window up, would I be able to wave my arm around outside? just what does a dark expanse actually represent in the back rooms. If I were to climb out, where would I land? Well, this clock does display actual Roman numerals, at least. 
I wonder if it would ever chime on a particular time. See, looking at something like this, what looks like an empty suburban house through this VHS look, it's like I'm looking at old home movies, going from something that seems so alien to something that could be sitting in the box in my basement right now. Uh... See, for a second, that was like riding the fine line between demonic screeching and music. Oh. Well, that's a real brand. Be careful with that one. But, uh... It looks so dirty and dusty. Almost like it's covered in, like, some dried, like, mucusy substance. It seems like it's distorting at random intervals. This actually appears to be open. I don't think there's any glass on this. Oops, I can never tell when my light is on. Maybe we don't crawl through there. I would like to avoid crawling, if at all possible. Last time, bad things happened to me. I, I, I wonder, like, what happens if you just keep falling through? I mean, we must know how it happens at this point, right? I mean, if we built a whole gateway, something which can reliably access this place, or at least... Or at least a certain point of this place... Actually, do we even know if it's the same every time you enter? I feel like if I were in this situation, I'd be trying to calm myself by reminding myself that this is all going to be extremely valuable footage when I get back. And I'd constantly be going back and forth on the when I get back and if I get back. There's that constant push and pull between trying to be positive and acknowledging the reality. Somebody's letting all the cold air out of the fridge. Once again, raising the question, did it generate this way? Or, like, did a previous person try to search through this for food? And more importantly, did they find any? Past experience tells us no, but you never know with this place. I would actually like to try interacting with some of these objects. I mean, sure, that looks like a fridge, but does the door actually close? Do the hinges work? Is there cold air coming out of it? Is there a switch I can press to turn the light off? You just keep throwing me right back here. All roads lead back to just the classic back rooms. Which presumably might actually be the only ones we know of. Oh, I don't like this at all. I mean, I'd like to imagine, I'd like to imagine that the elevator represents a definitive progression forward, but I don't actually know that. This is starting to actually drive me insane. I'm picking up the pace, trying to cover more ground more quickly. But let's be real, it is mostly just panic. C certain games have actually tried to have, like, hunger and thirst mechanics, and I feel like that's on the right track. The problem is that every implementation I've seen of that 
has made it happen too quickly. There's no time for dread, it's more of a panic trying to run around and grab stuff like your friggin' Pac-Man. Which, I suppose, isn't the most distant comparison you could apply to a person trapped in the back rooms, but more to the point, in order to actually bring out that dread that you'd feel, I think it should be very slow. Oh no, we've seen this before, haven't we? Oh, is it the I think the floor is actually sloping downward. Oh, that was real subtle at first, made even more imperceptible by the distortion of the screen itself. No. No friggin' way. No friggin' way. Even if I was starving, I would sooner start, like, sucking moisture from the carpets than climb in there. Thank you for shopping with us. Merry Christmas. Please return your baskets here. I guess I'm the basket. And somehow they've done us one worse. Imagine trying to crawl through here with your big bulky suit, or maybe struggling with yourself on whether you should ditch the suit or not. Getting about halfway and realizing, I can't move. Being stuck in here and actually longing for the hours when you were in the main chambers. Wait, is this actually a left turn up ahead? I mean, good luck negotiating that turn. Imagine crawling in there and trying to turn around. No way. No way. This sucks so hard. And my heart is actually starting to race the more I think about it. Oh, this perspective really conveys how cramped this is. I can actually feel the little bump going over each of these little divots, these rungs. I can feel it digging into my forearms with each push forward. I don't care if it's a 500 foot drop, I'm doing it. Just do it. There we go. I don't know how you maneuver yourself into that position, but it worked out for the best. Wow, you know, this visual style really emphasizes the reflections on the tile, doesn't it? But weirdly enough, I almost feel like in a place like this, and it helps that it's getting hotter in my room, I would want to forget whatever safety concerns they may have, take the suit off, and just press my face against the cold tile. Uh, it looks almost like a subway station, but there's some panels missing from the ceiling. I'll listen to the echo of my footsteps down these tiled corridors. Uh, well, at least we can rest assured that if something were moving quickly somewhere in here, we'd hear it. Why is that so much worse than any of the other furniture we've encountered? Now this definitely implies that someone went through here. But no, it doesn't. I mean, it's just me trying to find logic again. Look, if it can emulate a chair, it can emulate a toppled over chair. But this just looks like there's something more going on. These fallen ceiling tiles sort of imply that, like, maybe forces do act on this place over time? I mean, look, of serious note that I hadn't considered before, there's gravity. And it seems to affect me in about the same way as regular Earth gravity. There's a light being cast down from over there. That almost looks like daylight. But it's too good to be true. 
Something told me that was going to be the case. Is that actually a subway car? What is that up there? A map of the New York City subway. This looks to be the queen side. Okay, so it does it does generate things that it finds in the real world. Now I'm curious, will this actually work and take me somewhere? Or will it just function as another hallway? Well, the doors are closing behind me. A transit map? Now this looks like one of the older cars. One that you'd find in the 70s or 80s. That last rule about no radio playing audible to passengers uh, has never ever been observed. Seems to be the same newspaper, but look! There's all kinds of clutter on the floor, candy wrappers and cigarette butts and cans. And as is typical, only about a fourth of the lights are working. I wonder if this doesn't do some trickery in the darkness, or if there isn't actually just miles and miles of subway tunnel here. I mean, presumably it doesn't actually follow, like, a map of the New York transit system, right? But as with all things, it just leads us straight back to here. Turn our light back on. I have to say, I was actually a little bit worried that coming in here playing as a scientist, it would go too much into lore. Where does an event like this lead? That it would go too much into lore, that we would spend too much time in a group, and it would sort of tell us what they know and don't know. And I think to a certain extent that could have been fine. But really, it's put us into this situation where it just further serves to show that we don't know what we don't know, you know? Like, even as a scientist, all that's serving to do is put this constant clash in my mind between fear and curiosity. Which is actually a good thing to have, because in the first game, for as much as I liked it, we were just, like, as far as we know, some guy or some employee of this company, not even a government, but company, exploring this place after finding themselves here by accident. Here, it's a little bit more... Do you hear that? And just like that, it's gone. It sounds like it's coming from my left. And my curiosity was so great, I just ran headlong into the darkness, like an idiot. I, I did not like that at all. It was almost like it was, like, forming to a point, like leading me into a cave or something. I don't like how that music just came and went. If we go back, can we hear it again? Oh, it was so fleeting. It's like it just originated from nowhere. All of these walls actually coming away in panels. 
rather than being solid. And that just gets us over here. We never actually did find the source of that music. It's just every once in a while, I think I hear something. Something that doesn't belong. It... These things are so still, there's no forces acting on them that would cause them to roll. Who knows how long they'd been like this. You picked just the- oh, no! oh my god! I don't even know what we saw moving, it just looked like pixelation or just like streaks on the film. You're not doing anything though. You're just... I have to know what happens if I get close. You're like some kind of tall, like, Lego man or something. What caused my light to turn off? You're not moving at all. Something you did moved all of this. You're totally still well observed. I'm just trying to decipher what it is you want. And what you're trying to do. Can we close this again? We can't. We can't. We can't. We can't. I'll take some comfort in knowing you probably can't fit down here. That sounded like you moved again. I heard the balls rolling again. I don't remember if they're in the same... You're gone. You're gone. You're entirely gone. You're gonna be all over this area, aren't you? Screw this. Screw this. Screw this. Screw this. A little bit of outdoor indoor. Feel like I'm watching in on some unsuspecting family, even while I'm sitting in a house? Your long arms can probably fit through spaces like this, though. Nope. Go away from the direction of anything that resembles the classic back rooms. You're right there. I can see- I can see your silhouette! Your head is above the window, but you're staring right in on me. Keep going. Keep, oh, I'm, I'm shaking my head around so much now, I don't even know. What are you gonna do? I know this is culminating in a much bigger scare. We can't get up there. We're gonna have to walk right back past you. Okay, you're still there, but have you changed positions slightly? I can't tell. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Go this way, go this way, go this way. Just keep moving. At this point, it's just keep moving. Oh, we can crawl through there, but no we, no, we won't. Because that would mean slowing down, and slowing down is not a good thing to do at this moment. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. As if running matters. As if there's anything that could stop whatever it wants to do to us. Actually, this puts... From what we saw in that... In that ball pit? That's what I'm gonna call it, the ball pit. It throws into question every shadow I thought was some kind of artifact of the camera. Oh, this place is huge. I feel like I'm a toddler in like a maze at like a Chuck E. Cheese type establishment or something. For a second I thought that little bit of light up there was the head on top of like its shadowy form. 
Okay, concrete. Less inviting. Less inviting by far, but good. Things like this imply infrastructure, but again, implications don't mean anything when you're dealing with what could be some kind of mimetic... I say mimetic environment, but maybe mimetic dimension. That sounds like trains. See, this is where I would have a real sinking feeling. Not just from the vertigo of looking down, but from recognizing that this place truly is infinite. It's actually a good time for me to mention that this is some kind of mimetic dimension because, well, that's what it is. It's a dimension. Something has always told me the, the back rooms aren't so much a place as something which maps on to our reality. But as usual, we're getting nowhere fast. And I'm just gonna keep running. Forget anything that doesn't enable immediate progress. Just keep going. Yes, 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 yes. So long, sucker. What's great about having something like that in here is that it's taken so long for us to get to it. And even when it does happen, it doesn't take away from the subtlety. It never moves, it never chases us, it never actually does anything on screen. It's just introduced with only... with only the hint that it does do something when unobserved. Yes, I had a reservation. I feel like I'd have to at least try the phone. There's some sort of sounds coming out of this PA system. No parking. I'll try to keep that in mind. <laughs> you know, it's weird. When you have this first-person camera perspective, I feel like I'm simultaneously in the role of the person holding the camera and the terrified onlooker reviewing the footage later. Feeling so much almost secondhand dread as well as firsthand dread at the same time when I'm wondering what's going to be around that corner as I sidestep. Can try the door. Uh, the room I ordered was supposed to have two queens. Where am I? See, I, I am thinking about progressing down this way, but it just seems so obvious. Like I'd be missing something if I don't explore more down here. And then again, maybe it all leads to the same places. I'm assuming this door is the end of that hall from my room. Uh, no, not the end. Right smack in the middle. What's through that little crawlway then? Ow. 
absolutely nothing. It's just the timeout box. It's just a little space where I can sit and think about what I've done. All my life choices that led to me working for this company. But that's the horrifying thing, is that, sure, this character ended up here deliberately. Well, not here deliberately, but in the back rooms deliberately. But this could happen to anyone at any time. You trip down the stairs in Italy, you make a wrong move while opening the cabinet door in your grandma's bathroom, and you too could end up in a situation as dire as this, as confusing as this. I'm sorry, I'm going to try to sprint less because this is probably nauseating for you. It's like a bookstore or a library. Committing the grave sin of having nothing for me to peruse. Pristine. Well, oh, pristine is right. This is probably the end of that original hallway. No, it goes back even farther. I'm trying not to sprint, but I have a lot of ground to cover, and I'm, it'll make it way easier for me in editing if I have to cut less. I mean, it's all dark down there. The lights on the ceiling cease. Is it maybe some kind of end? No, no end in sight. It's just gotten darker and noticeably narrower. Way out. What is that? Um, okay, we have our elevator, so that's good. This looks like it's coiled lengths of hose, which actually, in a place with so little, I feel like this would be worth its weight in gold. I don't even know off the top of my head what I'd do with it, but I'd definitely do something. party set out for five, with one facing away. Sometimes I do try to interpret the scenes that have been laid out, even if it is a fruitless exercise. Now, here's the important thing. If we're going to be going down this way, which I want to do, we just got to make sure that we maintain our sense of direction if this becomes less linear. that beep again. I don't know if that's just random and periodic or what. No, this goes back to here. Okay, so that's just the loop. Okay. We're getting out of here. I could progress further down that long hallway, but I, I feel like I, I feel like I've seen enough. Let's go. Now, some people in the Steam reviews actually said that they beat the game in about an hour. I'm currently recording an hour and 17 minutes, so I figure a few of that is set up. I don't know. I feel like this is a game that could have wildly different lengths depending on the paths each player takes. Alright, well... Let's make our way in. Uh, that's actually almost too bright. But it's better than the alternative. You know, I wasn't asking you to do anything for me, back rooms. 
and having it be slanted like this really makes it feel like it might come down on me. This sucks. Hate it. Hate crawling. And you knew that, and that's why you made crawling an actual mechanic instead of just like a thing we do once. Now the question to ask, because this is huge, would be, can we drink this water? Or would we find that it's actually chlorinated? Once again, the back room's trying to emulate outdoors without actually showing any detail beyond. And it's a good thing we're wearing this suit because the only thing we're going to be able to do is wade. Now I'm wondering, actually, are we carrying our own oxygen supply? And will that run out at some point? I mean, at a certain point, you're better off ditching the suit, right? Cramped dark hallways, no light but our own. And somehow, the water makes it all the worse, not only because we're well aware of the fact that we would be so painfully slow if we try to run. Thought I saw something there real quick, but I thought it was, a, but I think it was a reflection. But also knowing that if there is something else in the water, on the one hand, it'll make a noise if it moves, and we'll be able to hear it coming. Uh, but also, if, it, if we don't hear something and we round the corner to see it, that means that it was perfectly dead still the entire time. And it would appear the time of day is changing. This almost seems like we've gone from a bright midday all to the late afternoon, all while we've been walking. It's almost the kind of, like, orange haze that makes me feel like I could lay down and take a nap, but of course we're not doing that today. The reflections in this game are absolutely incredible. Can we make it through here? We can. Some real weird sounds that I'm hearing. Tile, of course, causing all sounds to echo all throughout the place. Which actually isn't reassuring. Kind of makes me feel like I'm a submarine giving out sonar pings all over the place. Now that's just the worst, isn't it? Water in the dark. And who knows how deep it is. I feel like in reality this would be much more difficult because we'd constantly be slipping and sliding on these tiles. You know, just for the heck of it, I would probably be sitting down and sliding down this in this moment. Although I'd probably, knowing my luck, end up with my legs around this pole. Oh, where did we come from? We came from over there. Uh, which means this is the only path forward. I, I wonder if I wasn't even left deliberately. I mean, I suppose I'd be very useful as a canary in the coal mine, right? If I have some way of retrieving the camera? I mean, just like somebody could use this video, presumably, as a guide for how to get through the game quickly. Well, so could they. They could use this footage, one sacrificial lamb, to get a little further each time. You know, it's eerie. It's real eerie. How little sense the size and shape of this pool makes. But I'm just struck by how gorgeous this architecture is. This is beautiful. I would love to attend a rec center with a pool like this. I, 
I did swimming lessons for several years. Not because I couldn't swim, but because I, I just loved doing it and it was an opportunity to do so, but... Do you hear that? That's the kind of music that almost makes it seem like the walls are vibrating with it. And just as quickly as it came, it's gone. The nature of the sounds in these back rooms are one of the most interesting things so far. The way it just comes and goes, starting so subtly at first. And then you listen intently just long enough to confirm that you can in fact hear something. But by the time you're ready to start figuring out what it actually is, it's gone. And gone in a way that makes you question if you ever really heard anything at all. And there's more. I'll curse my curious mind for not getting in the elevator that's right back there. Especially since this just looks like some of the places we've been. Empty picture frames on the walls. Uh, what is this? What does this suit count as, I wonder? And there's more music. Has it actually shown us any artwork yet? I mean, it's emulated signs and such, maps, but has it actually shown us anything that's meant to be artistic? This pool looks decently shallow. But what are those? Wait. Indoor and outdoor pools closing. That looked to be fading far more quickly than just regular walking into the darkness. That seemed like something was actively happening to our vision. But if that's the case, it seems like it shows some place that was already empty. A place that was, in even our dimension, closing. wall sconces in a submerged pool hallway. Why does that make it so much worse? What is it about these things that makes it that much tremendously more terrible? And why am I walking so much farther from my destination in the name of curiosity? You ever have dreams about this as a kid? Of being in some shallow yet impossibly large pool, trying to make your way to the edges but just not able to get there no matter how far you go, and moving very slowly all the way. All right, let's 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 get back. Let's get Oh, this sucks. This sucks even worse from this angle. narrow spaces. This is the worst. This is the worst, and it's inspiring me so much when it comes to source mapping. It 
It's like it's combining the pool rooms with a daycare. A combination that I never needed to think about. It's actually, it's seemingly drawing that connection in a couple of places. That artwork on the wall, which, yeah, that actually is artwork. We've seen it now. Um, the ball pit and the toys in that other area. It's actually, I talked before about how childhood nostalgia and childhood dreams are a big driving force in liminal space imagery. And here, it seems to be making that connection repeatedly and deliberately. Alright. If I had to choose any place so far to stay, this would surely be it. But I am ready to move on. You know, that's something to think about. Every time you get in this elevator, you have no idea if you're moving to something better or something worse. Each time hoping that the next leap will be the one home. A brick floor, but regular plaster walls. Which, by the way, just take a moment of appreciation and look at that detail on the walls. When you're in simple environments like this, texture is actually really, really important. And so I'm really glad that these, well, textures have texture. Yep, we're doing shenanigans. We are doing shenanigans. What is this? Oh, that's a false sky. Those twinkling, slightly moving stars, I guess, are projections. Is there a brass ring for us to catch? I can't seem to climb on board. I mean, maybe if I were to climb into that teacup, it would be a decent place to sleep. Maybe the constant motion would keep any critters that appear when you fall asleep from approaching. Maybe I'm trying to distract myself from what I'm seeing. Carnival Ghost Train. Oh no, we're making a choice here, are we? Well, I suppose any one is as good as any other. hate how this noise gives me something to focus on. And there's definitely, definitely music echoing down these darkened halls. And as before, all roads lead back here. This almost feels like deliberate taunting at this point. It's been so long since we've seen this. Right, just keep moving. Pick a direction and keep moving. Try to get as far as we can in any one direction. Doesn't matter which one. Before. We gotta think back to before when I was in that darkened room. Hug one wall. Ah, another elevator. This one with a glowing exit sign. Almost like it wants me to get through here more quickly. 
Did I miss a lot? Probably. Don't care. Getting out of here. If I go back to look for stuff, I'm never gonna find my way back here. You know, for a moment, that texture of yellow... I was actually slightly taken aback because I thought it was going to be the suit of another researcher. Imagine what it would be like to run into someone else after all this time. I, I was going to say that if I saw another researcher standing in the distance after all this, I wouldn't trust what I was seeing. But then again, any critical thought might be overridden by the desire to get out of here. Or even just the desire for conversation, of contact. And once again, we remember these darkened windows onto the void. If they're not just flat black panes, means nothing. Look, even the tops of these window sills are black. And we can walk directly behind them, thus confirming my fears. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Why do I always keep choosing the narrowest, darkest corners to wedge myself in? Huh. This is actually more like a complete room. Like a church or a community center or something. but none of what's on here makes any sense. These sort of like confessionals. I hate this place. This place sucks. If I, if I ever see that wallpaper again, it'll be too soon. And spoiler alert, I am going to be seeing that wallpaper again. Now what about this? Can we actually play this piano just to make some kind of sound, as unwise as that may be? No. I can't help but feel eyes on me. Look, there's even a projector up there. Very notable. Oh, well, that whole direction was a bust. What about that other way? Well, there's something. A fire alarm. <laughs> but even in this situation, my character is too square to press it and run off. Only I had a box of matches. After a certain point, it would be tempting to just try setting fire to this place just to see what'll happen, not even caring if I'm consumed along with it. Maybe even finding some sense of victory in that. Okay, well, if you're gonna give me a clear way forward, I'm happy to take it. This looks like a mall or something after closing. Which I feel like is a nightmare that a lot of kids had, or at least a fantasy. The idea of being trapped in school or the mall after dark. The sound of that mall music echoing throughout the empty halls. I think that's something that even if you haven't heard it being there late at night, you just know exactly how it would affect you. Now what did that... That's a shoe. 
a single shoe, almost as if someone was dragged through in this direction and this was pulled off by the bars. Then again, that would be quite a nasty process, but not a drop of blood in sight. Can we maybe crawl through there? I mean, it looks very tight. And I'd be very worried about a puncture in our suit. But we made it. Huh. Flashbacks to Anemoiopolis. Pick and pause. Next step. Lindell Women in, Women's and Children's Fashion. Have, have we seen that name Lindell somewhere else in this game? Oh, skylights onto nothing. And as we've seen from the other windows, that doesn't mean anything. Make your brand visible to hundreds of people daily, if only, huh? Music down this way seems so much more disjointed. Okay, run. I don't care how nauseating it is, just run. Just run, just run, just run, just run. Oh, and it continues to branch off from here. This is awful. Why do I feel like the noise forms a consistent shape at the end of this darkness? Oh, it's that. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I'm going back. If we exit through this door... That'll probably bring us into the back of a store, right? There we are. Do you really not even want to try any of these phones? Cameras? I wonder... See, some things work and some things don't. I wonder if any of these cameras are actually recording anything. And if maybe they won't show something that's, like, different. Something that happens when no one's here. From building blocks and toy cars to fluffy bears and dolls, we at Toys and Fun have a wide variety of quality toys from us to you. That's more like an emergency tone. Almost like the place is vacated because of some kind of disaster that we're the only one that hasn't been informed about. Serving pizza since 1966, we have a mention of a year. Now, are these escalators actually working? They are not. I wouldn't be exploring very well if I didn't head downstairs to see what's going on here. All these, as well, appear to be shuttered. I wonder, if we were to actually go up to one of these grates, would we be able to maybe peek beyond? And not really too much reflection. And we can crawl into the ice cream parlor. Once again, this damage suggesting that someone did at some point before, perhaps looking for something to eat? But sadly, they didn't find it. Or they ate it all. But we can't hop over the counter to see what's behind it. Is there anything under the escalators? Media Play Library Furniture. Mm -hmm. 
This is reminding me scarily much of, like, footage from the 80s of just tours through malls. I don't know what it is, but I get the feeling I'm not supposed to be here. You know what this sounds like? Have you ever had your brain produce, like, original music during a dream? It's the kind of thing that seems to so perfectly map onto your mood in the moment, but it's so hard to recall when you wake up, and if you can recall it, you realize it doesn't make any kind of consistent sense. Uh, here we are. An impossibly high-ceilinged bookstore. Or furniture store, I suppose, but it's mostly rows and rows of bookshelves. And as is typical for a place like this, the kids section is the darkest and creepiest. Just a giant section of red wall and no way through. See, what's so weird about this is that you had these things that are so pristine, only occasionally interrupted by something like this. Which leads me to believe that it has something to do with people coming through, and I know I'm a broken record, but also no it doesn't, because if it is a mimetic space, it can emulate trash and destruction. It's just that it so rarely does. Okay, I saw another entrance to that back hallway on that side, so that's where we're going next. Huh. Kind of funny how in the dark under these escalators it's all like that concrete wall with only, like, fake outlines of doors. You know what? That's a relief. I mean, I, I have been thinking about bets the entire time I've been here, and I've been too afraid to I've been too afraid to mess up the mood by bringing it up. But uh, to be honest, I was considering it in the pool rooms. Well, after all that, here we find ourselves again, which really, really sucks because I wanted more than anything in the world to avoid this. But as usual, enter, pick a direction, usually forward, and just keep going. Take any way you can to keep moving in that direction. Move side to side to maintain that if you have to, but just make it happen. Okay, that is a total dead end. Okay, so our new goal is from here, we're going to start moving right instead of forward. Because I feel like we kind of knocked out forward and left in one go right there. And here's where it starts to open up. See, the thing is, I'm starting to get the impression that maybe these environments aren't as big as I think. I mean, I've always found my way back to the elevators without much trouble eventually. So I think there's a real, like, genius to the design here. Because in the complex found footage, before the update, when I played it the second time, one of the reasons I criticized it was because I would just run around forever and never get anywhere. Here, it feels like I'm running around forever. But there's always been something for me to see. Something new. And I've always ultimately found my way to where I was going. That's not just my breathing. 
a million different dark corners for me to turn my back to if I try to walk along this barbed wire, which, by the way, barbed wire... And I just can't tell which of these crevices that breathing is coming from. Oh no. Oh no, this sucks so much. I just, for some reason, was overcome with the feeling that there was something behind me. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I'm going to run headlong into a screaming, horrifying face. But so far, this game is above that. But if it were to happen, I would actually have a heart attack right then and there. You ever get the feeling like you're making all the progress and none of the progress simultaneously? That's another thing that's cool about this. It never leaves an image behind. Instead of having, like, levels and stuff to the back rooms, which it makes it something that you can understand. That's the thing. The more rules you add to it, the more it feels like something you can comprehend. While here, our scientist's role only serves to further emphasize how little we comprehend. It's not, okay, we got through this, so now it's on to the next thing. It is just endless. Although I am glad it actually lets us sit here. Let's just take in this moment of downtime without just immediately shoving us into the next section. Also, I'm noticing from the placement of the newspaper, this does actually seem to be the same car. Um... 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 Thank you. I was real worried for a second there. Notably, none of these other doors are opening. Like, this really is just for me. I mean, actually, something I've been neglecting as a scientist... Certain things do respond to my presence. The elevators, the subway cars, the carousel... Okay, that's not like anything we've seen before. But ultimately all it is is a couple of different lights. I'm just so like a moth. I'm attached to anything different. The shadows cast on the wall from that dining table and chairs almost looked like it was projecting the shadows of heads of people sitting there. Let's keep it, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving, but I'm hitting... Uh, for as many open spaces as there are, I'm hitting so many dead ends. Okay, very hard to tell, but I feel like this geometry doesn't make a lot of sense. We could get out, but we have the option of continuing forward. Sort of. No, not really, but look, look up. The ceiling is raised. But unfortunately, there's nothing we can do with that. All right, I guess our first stop was really where we were meant to be going. In another empty showroom.
Something about this just makes it feel much more important, doesn't it? Is there anything over there that we may have missed? Nothing I'm interested in seeing. Let's go. But just more of the same. We've got to be moving forward, right? Like, there's got to be something in our near future. There just has to be. But I'm honestly starting to reach that point where I don't even, like, remember life before this recording. And I, I bet the character probably started feeling that way a long time ago. I mean, something I've actually neglected to even think about. You have no concept of the passage of time here. Why aren't I controlling myself? Why aren't I controlling myself? Ah, oh, great. Are we going back down to the pool rooms? Now, I was saying go for it in terms of jumping before, but this seems a bad idea. you again! Oh, great. We cracked our lens. And probably our ankles. And maybe we landed on our back. That big suit cushioned our fall. Oh. We're just going to have to deal with this from now on. Some of these freezers glowing, some not. Makes me wonder what the difference is and how it's decided. Okay, so we never outran that thing. It's been, it's been right behind us the entire time. Down several elevators, down several different types of architecture. Wait, that's our tape. That's our tape, that's our tape. You, 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 right there, right there, right there, right there. Please let that be something. Please let that be something. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a sign. I thought it was glass with like a researcher looking through. This is all over the place, but... Oh my god. What if it's actually, what if it's actually started emulating our stuff? Emulating the things we started using to help navigate, thus making it all completely worthless. Unexplored area, contact expedition supervisor for more information. Oh, uh, if I'm right about this, that is a crazy twist. No! I think it actually is the way out. Maybe not where we came in. I don't remember, honestly. Actually, hang on. We followed it this way, right? Right? We came through here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes! So if we were to try and crawl back through that space that we crawled through... Well, would that have the same result? Would it send us back to square one? Answer, I've been doing this for too long to find out. I am ready for freedom. I unless... Unless it's also capable of emulating these airlocks. Hey! Is anyone in here? It is very conspicuously abandoned. Ghost. Wouldn't there be a lot of people here if they had a man missing? And notably, there's no shimmer like there was in the beginning.
I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. I think if anything, we've only given it new material to work with or potentially let it, whatever it is, out. Restricted access, strong magnetic field. Magnet is always on. Okay, let's take the path less traveled first. no computer set up here. It's all piled in the corner. And our character hasn't talked in a long while, but I love how you can actually hear like the fear in his voice now. Uh, this one's locked. The grates are down over there. Magwave. That must be our company. Some kind of briefing room? I mean, so far this seems to be in a reasonable structure. The character hasn't commented on it being any different. But imagine the sinking feeling of thinking you're out, but just something isn't right. Something's really not right. Run. Run. This is a thing that can happen? This is our first time seeing the world physically deteriorate. It returns to our world in mid-air. You can truly, you can enter from anywhere and exit from anywhere. But who knows when this footage is actually recovered. The camera seems completely destroyed. Oh my god, that was such a cool twist. And horrifying. So that was the complex expedition. And I'm not going to go back through like all my praises because that was a whole lot of me talking. But that was excellent, which is saying a lot because it takes a lot for me to be impressed by a Backrooms game because I feel like the Backrooms have been so done to death. And for it to be original and still have a few surprises in it while ignoring a lot of the like supplementary things that have shown up around the Backrooms in popular culture... It's like I said in the beginning, it gets right to the heart of why the backrooms are scary and never shies away from that, never feels like it needs something more to keep the audience interested. The level design is just perfect 
for making you feel so utterly lost and like you're losing your mind and like you're constantly looping in on yourself while still keeping things moving so the player doesn't actually get bored, which is a very hard thing to do. Now, not only are the visuals, like, incredibly realistic, like I said, I'm a huge fan of this downgrade to upgrade style, but also the voice acting. It sounds like just people talking. And even games that have tried to, like, emulate that often don't really succeed. Here, I feel like it was done just perfectly. My only real criticism is that I feel like the audio could have been mixed a little bit better. I can't really see any options for that, and at times, I was having a little bit of trouble hearing what was being said. I think I'm probably going to have to boost the audio in post, uh, where normally I have to like cut into it in EQ. But it's worth noting that this game is in early access, and the previous game actually changed a lot. Uh, between versions. I mean, I played it the first time and I didn't really like it, and then the second time I liked it a lot more. Although, to be honest, I, I don't even know what this could change. I haven't looked at any, like, roadmaps or anything, but I, I do know that it's complete. This is something that you can sit down and play through from beginning to end, and it feels like a whole game. Now, I don't know if what's there is going to change like in the other one, or if it's going to add more after what we experienced. But I can't say that ending wasn't satisfying, even if it isn't extremely horrifying. But if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.